Good morning friends. Today is 1st October 2023, 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time. A theme common to all three readings of today is that of changing one's mind. Our capacity to change our minds leaves us open to hazard and to hope. Hazard when we choose to renounce our integrity and to commit sin. Hope when we choose to renounce sin to become law-abiding and honest. Today's Gospel story shows us the nobility of humble change of mind. The first son, though the better of it, he was open to change and to better thoughts. The second son was set and closed. The ability to change one's mind is essential to all healthy relationships. A mind that is closed, whether from pride, stubbornness or stupidity, tends to destroy all relationships. Example, when we refuse to admit a mistake, when we are, will, when we are unwilling to ap- apologize and change our ways, <coughs> when we persist in prejudice against a person or group, when we think we know it all. The second reading from the Philipp- from Philippians talks of a more specific and positive change of mind. In your minds, you must be the same as Christ Jesus. This is the direction in which we must be constantly changing our minds day by day. Jesus did not cling to his equality with God but emptied himself. Ever since Adam, we are all born as clingers and graspers. The new born babe, uh, babe has to have a tight grip and as we get older, the grip often gets stronger. Clinging permeates all of life. We cling to people, possessiveness, to things, greed, to power and position, ambition. We cling to opinions, pride. At the root of our clinging lies fear and insecurity. The apparently strong person who clings aggressively to set ways or ideas is in reality full of fear. Notice your physical reactions to fright. You dench up and grasp at something or someone as a frightened child clings to its mother. In the Buddhist tradition, clinging is seen as the root of all suffering. When you are unhappy, it can be enlightening to pursue to the question, what am I clinging to? It might be an idea, a plan, an expectation, power, positions, reputations, a place, a person, health and even life itself. All wise traditions recommend a light grasp of everything. Anxious clinging leads to misery. As soon as we begin to relax our thought or tight grasps and let go, we begin to be free and happy. Letting go is a useful modem equivalent for self empty. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. May this mind be, be in us which was in Christ Jesus. A blessed Sunday to you all. God bless us all today.